Mr. Chow, a week ago, the president was interviewed uh, last Thursday and uh, was asked about um, Secretary Sebelius. And he said the president defended his health secretary, I'm quoting from the, from the Jake Ta uh, uh, Jonathan Carl interview, or excuse me, Chuck Todd interview, and um, defended his health secretary, argued that the website bugs aren't necessarily her fault. Quote, Kathleen Sebelius doesn't write code. She wasn't our IT person. Who is the IT person? Who's the person in charge? Who's the person responsible? Who's the one who signed off on this before it went public? The person that's responsible is our administrator, Marilyn Tagner. And did she base her decisions on the memo you sent her on the 27th? Is that right? Isn't that the authority to operate memo? I think that's... Uh, I mean, the president talked about IT person. Ms. Tavner's not an IT person. Who's the IT person? Is that Mr. Van Rokel? Is it no. Mr. Park? Is it Mr. Childs? Which of you is that person? I, I don't know. I didn't speak to the president. No, but I, he refers to a person. Who would it be? Who's the, who's the IT I, person in charge? I don't know what the president was referring to. Let me start with uh, this slide C3, if I could. And this is the report that came, the final CMS, final report, came out October 13th after October 1st. I just want to read the first sentence. MITRE was unable to adequately test the confidentiality and integrity of the exchange system in full. Lower down, complete end-to-end -end testing of the application never occurred. Doesn't that raise concerns? Did you know about this before October 1st, Mr. Chow? I think that's taken out of context. Um, it's pretty plain language. Didn't test it. No end-to-end -end testing done before October 1st, and yet... The IT person in charge, whoever the president's referring to, somebody said it's okay to start this thing. I say it's taken out of context because there's still uh, quite a few... Mr. Van Rokel, did you know that this, uh, did you know the results of the minor testing before October 1st? Uh, I haven't seen this document, so I'd, I'd love to... Well, you got the fancy you title. You're the Chief Information Officer of the United States of America. That's a pretty big title, and you didn't know about this before the biggest domestic policy program website in the history of this country ever is launched, and you didn't know about this? Sir, I haven't seen this document. Well, that's, that scares us. Mr. Mr. Park, you're supposed to be the guy who's going to solve everything. You're, you're Clark Kent coming out of the phone booth here. Did you know about this before October 1st? I did not. And why is it? What, would you like me to explain why? I would like someone to tell me why you didn't know that end-to-end -end testing it's wasn't not, it's done. Not a, it's not about not knowing. It's that, for example, the first payment to the insurance companies, the issuers, are not going to occur until sometime in the first part of January. We are still building the system. We just had this. The, the system all works together. Still, it wasn't tested all still, at once. We are still building parts of the system to calculate payment, to collect the enrollment data from all the marketplaces, and to make that payment. So there's January. more system to be built, so we can expect yes. more problems so in the future testing, to add to the problems we've already seen. Security testing is ongoing. Let me ask you this. This, to me, seems to be the, the, the billion-dollar question or trillion, whatever. Why didn't you delay this? You guys knew there were going to be problems. You hadn't done end-to-end -end testing. Some of your testimony took, we hoped that the test would work when we presented it to the White House. Why didn't you delay this? Mr. Chow, why, did, why wasn't it delayed? That's not my decision to make. The, the, this, to me, is the thing. You know, the, the chief technology people don't know, but October 1st is, is October 1st a date that's in the law? It's not. It's just a date. That, let me cite you this here. The Washington Post article, and I know I only got a minute, but the Washington Post article I think is important. David Cutler sent a memo to the White House, says, you know what, don't keep the political people in the White House, Nancy Ann DePaul, Gene Lambro in charge, bring in outside people. Larry Summers agreed with that assessment, Peter Orzog agreed with that assessment, but the president says, no, we're going to keep Nancy Ann DePaul in charge of this, kept the political people in charge. And in your testimony Mr. to the committee, Mr. Chow, you said this, when asked about October 1st, my marching orders were get the system up by October 1st, right? Correct. Why? If you got all these problems, why not wait? I didn't ask why. I said that was my And what I'm suggesting is the folks at the White House knew this thing had problems, evidenced by the testing that wasn't done end to end. They, for political reasons, had picked this date, and so for political reasons, they had to adhere to this date. And the end is, the end result is, Americans' personal information is put at risk. I try to correct your perception of what this expert is from. It's about a, a long chain of systems that need to be built 
and this is a point in time. Mr. Chairman, my time is, I got two seconds. Let me just finish with this. We have asked, you and I have asked, Ms. DeParle, Ms. Lambro, to come in front of this committee next week, and the letter we got back yesterday was, they're not gonna come. And they're the, they're the people we need because they're the political people in charge. They're the ones who determined October 1st was the date that need to move forward on. And they're the ones who I think ultimately are responsible for putting at risk Americans' personal information. That I yield back.